Thank you for choosing Swing Catalyst as your video software. And today I'm going to show you how to add your network card that you have received along with the power adapter. So the first thing you'd want to do is open up the side panel. I've kind of done that in advance. There's two screws right up here. And then what you're looking for is the PCIe X1 slot, which are these two right here. So this is where the card is going to go. Before I do that, I'm actually going to remove one of the back panels. So the things that you will need is actually a screwdriver, Phillips screwdriver, and a knife. So we will begin by removing one of the back panels. So what I'm going to be doing is removing one of these panels right here. So you can take a look. And just screw it out, save the screw, and this just pops right out. You can uh, remove this, throw it away, you can save it if you like. I'm gonna keep the screw right up there for later on. So the next item is to actually open up the card. So I'm going to open up the, uh, the actual box. And within it, you will see that it's in a package like this. There's the package. It comes with the other part, but you won't need that. So we'll just carefully remove it here. And here is the card. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be putting these uh, teeth into those ports right there. But before we do do that, I'm gonna take my power source. Let's open that up. And the one that has come with it actually has two adapters. So this is the power that we're going to connect to the computer. And then you have two adapters. So if you're adding two cards, two of these, you will need two slots like I have here. You can put one in one slot, one in the other, and actually power both cards by using this one adapter. So before I put the card in, I'm gonna match up one of these. So it's a little bit rounded on top, so I'm gonna fit that in there first. So I'm gonna slide that in there. Nice and tight, there we go. So the card is in there. And then from here, it's pretty easy just to slide there's a little gap that we're going to fit in into i put one hand on one side one hand on the other just slowly get it up in there there we go and then from there you can see i need to line up hopefully you can see it right there i'm going to put the screw right back into that position i do like to pull up on the card slightly Oops, let me go around to the other side. Not left-handed, so. Like I said, I, I do like to push up on the card. Get that all nice and tight there. So you can see it from the back, it's nice and clean. You have room at the bottom there for the connection. And then from here, we actually have the power for the computer. So I'm going to take we gotta look for the direct one, which is this one right here, and connect this just like that right there. And that will power the card. You can use a twist tie, clean that up afterwards. But then from there, you can definitely take your camera or your ethernet cable that also came. You can connect it right in. You'll hear a little click, then actually take the camera right here, the back of the camera, click right in there. So now this cable will now power the camera and also provide the video feed using your network card. So I hope this uh, has helped out. And again, thank you for your support and purchasing Swing Catalyst. Thank you.